Good start. Making it look easy out there. How's it feel kicking the weekend off with a pretty pretty easy win? Uh, I mean, it feels great uh, to come from the first two matches of the season and come out 6-1 and then also come out here and 3-0 in our first tournament match, per se. I mean, it feels really good. We're really confident going into pretty much the rest of our matches. We've been playing lights out. I mean, you've been playing real well, especially right there. You know, practice has been good leading into the weekend. I mean, it seems like you're free-flowing. You and Form are both kind of kicking some ass out there. Um, you know, going into the next matchup, like, what are you thinking? You looking to stay consistent? Obviously, looking to go uh, 3 0 4 I mean, yeah, we got Dallas again, so that's a match that me and Matt uh, especially really want to win, and maybe even the rest of our team. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to play it out as another match, try to stay consistent, like you said, and just try to move on to tomorrow, qualifying for the bracket. Yeah, we uh, we just spoke to Krim. He's really he's looking uh, looking forward to matching up with you guys too. Um, you know, we we spoke about this a little bit in Minneapolis around the domination capture the flag. Now the capture the flag's been kind of put into the game. Everyone's been able to kind of play for it. You you still you still on the domination train? Oh yeah. I mean, I really enjoy the dom. Obviously, there's some things that got broken with it when the last patch came out. Um, it's still playable, but there are some weird things that happen on certain maps that didn't happen uh, back before the patch. So I love it. I prefer dom. Um, it goes way back to my roots, all the way in Black Ops 1. I was playing Dom, so I love it. I'd, ra I'd prefer Dom over CTF. Talk to me a little bit about the crowd, right? Like, we can hear them right now. You know, Minneapolis, great great opening weekend. You know, they had some fines out there, but you don't really get anything like this in the, in the COD scene when you get into London. Talk to me a little bit of what it's like playing in front of these guys. Oh, it's awesome. Um, I mean, Minneapolis, it wasn't really hard to, like, I mean, it was hard to hear them through the mics, but here they were picking up quite a bit whenever we were, like, specifically formal when he was uh, sniping in search but whenever someone gets a big two three piece um, we can definitely hear him so it's great to have them here it's great to have them backing us as well and it really helps us out in our game coming into these tournament play you know we started out what uh, you know some people are calling maybe the exhibition weekend out in uh, Minneapolis now we're in tournament mode how do you how do you approach these games differently um, do you approach them differently or is it same business as usual um, maybe a little bit more intensity just because we do know if we lose twice we're out of the tournament and done for the weekend so those league matches we could have lost both of them and that would have been it anyway but here I mean you want to make it to Sunday and and show what you got so we definitely don't want to get eliminated so we come out with a little bit more fire uh, in these tournament matches and I think that the team did really well with that like extra pressure in a sense uh, and again I'm just looking forward to the next match to see if we can carry it on um, do you wish FaZe was here? You know, you're probably, you're, you're sitting at top with FaZe, right? Like, you're looking at the power rankings, FaZe, you, every single time. Um, do you wish they were here so you could kind of take them down? It seems a little strange having having you guys at the, at the tournament and, and them not being here from a spectator standpoint. I mean, yeah, obviously we want the best teams here, um, but that's just not how it, you know, how it got dealt. So, I mean, I think we play them in a few weeks anyway in Atlanta, considering we both went out and stuff, so... We're just eyes ahead at this tournament. We're not too worried about who's here. We're just trying to get through each team um, and win our matches. So it's it stinks that they're not here, obviously, because they are, you know, considered the best, and we don't have a chance to actually play them. But again, we're just focused on this one right here. So focusing on the rest of the weekend. I mean, victory is the only option, obviously. Like you're gonna you're gonna look at not taking home the medal here as, as a disappointment. Um, yeah. I mean, we. We think that we can win. I mean, we're really, really confident. So if we don't win, it's not the end of the world, but we're definitely coming out and, and trying our best to get that first championship and start the year off right because these points are really important. Uh, you don't want to get left behind like at all in this point system because it's really unforgiving. Uh, if you come out and get like 0-2 at one of these tournaments, you get no points when someone could potentially get 50. So we're just, again, trying to stack those points up and, and get this championship. Um, last question. Seen a lot of Gunrunner so far. I predict we're going to see a lot more Gunrunner throughout the weekend. Why is that? Um, it's probably one of the best like symmetrical maps in the game right now. It makes the most sense. There aren't too many like weird spawns that people get on, for instance, just some of the other maps. Um, so Gunrunner is just all around a good, it's, we call it a fun map because it's a lot of gunfights, a lot of engagements, and yeah, it's just a fun map and I think a lot of people enjoy playing. Well, good luck. We hope to see you back up here lifting the trophy a little later, and uh, thanks for joining us.